Okay, we have a good one here today from MIT 2023 semifinals round one problem four. We have the integral of 3ln x minus 1 plus 2x over x ln x plus x squared plus 2x to the fourth dx. Okay, initially I was trying just algebra and substitutions on it and nothing seemed to really work. So the one thing I noticed though that was going to be helpful I think is we can do some factoring as we have x in common everywhere here. So let's see what happens if I rewrite it. But what I'm going to do is if I factor that x out, I can kind of bring it all the way to the end. So, the, so at the end of this, we'll have 1x dx. The reason I want to write it this way is just noticing we've got ln x here in two places. The derivative of ln x is going to be 1 over x dx. So this is telling me, and when I did it the first time, I had no idea if this was going to work or not, but this is going to at least allow me to change this up a little bit and get a transformation. So if I do my u substitution for ln x, we take a derivative, then du is just going to be 1 over x dx. So our du is right here. But notice we've got some other stuff in the expression. It's not ln x. So let's solve for x. Rearranging this, we can say x is going to be e to the u. But keep in mind, we've got x cubed here. Well, that's pretty easy. So if I cube this on both sides, we can write this as x cubed is going to be e to the 3u. So we'll go ahead with this substitution. This is just going to become 3u minus 1. This becomes plus 2 e to the u. ln x is just u e to the u. And then here we use this. This is going to become plus 2 e, 3 to, e to the 3u du. Then the interesting thing was when I started messing with this, it's kind of the same problem because, you know, you do algebra and I don't really have a good way to simplify it, right? There's like, I can't really factor, like, what am I going to do with this e to the 3u? But then also for a substitution, if I take the derivative, it's not going to look like this. So even though the substitution idea looks pretty bad, let's just try it anyway. So as we already substitute, let's use a different variable. I use t and substitute for the whole denominator because that would be nice if it would work. So this would be u plus e to the u plus 2e, 3 to the u, e to the 3u. Take a derivative. What's going to happen? We get this is just 1. Derivative e to the u is e to the u. And then this last one, we need to remember the 3. So this is going to become 6e, 3u, du. Now, this stuff here is definitely not our numerator. I mean, some stuff is kind of promising. We've got e to the u, we've got one, so it kind of matches, but we don't have this anywhere. We don't have a u term. Well, this is where I actually want to use wishful thinking and kind of try to force this to happen. So I'm just going to create a nice integral that's going to work well like this. And we're going to have to, of course, we're going to have to validate later that this actually works, but right now we're just going to try it and see what happens. So same denominator. And then I'm going to force the numerator to be all this stuff that I want right here. But I've clearly changed the problem. So what I want to do is create a second integral, same denominator. But now for this to work nicely, I need the second integral also to be something we can work with. Well, what if I force it to be, this would be nice if it's just exactly the same as the denominator, right? Because then here, this thing is just one. So that's going to be super easy. This one here, we've already set up our substitution, so this one's gonna be easy as well. Now, if you try to just add these back together with the same denominator, you're gonna get one, um, two e to the u, that's good. But then look at the e to the three u terms. You're gonna have eight e to the three u. This isn't gonna work. The way we want this to work though, what if we multiply by some constant on both these? So is it possible that there's a constant a and b so that this is gonna work and that we haven't changed the problem and we get back? To this right here. Well, we could do this systematically looking at every term, but it's actually pretty easy to just kind of use like one or two terms. Like here, we want to get minus one. There's no constant over here, right? We've got no, everything's got a u in it over here. We have this one. Just notice if a is minus one, then multiplying the a in here, that's going to get us back this minus one here. Then maybe let's look at this e to the u. So if a is minus one, we have minus e to the u. We want to get a two here. Just notice, let's say if b is three, because when we do this, just focusing on e to the u, we're gonna have minus e to the u plus three e to the u. This is gonna be two e to the u. That's gonna match this piece right here. Notice on this u term, you multiply in three, you get the three u right here. So that's good. 
What about the E three U's? We don't even have that here. You multiply in A as minus one, you have minus six E three U. Multiply in the B plus three times two is six E three U. This equals zero. So, so we can think of this as like zero E three U and that works as well. So all we really need to do is go back and plug these values in for A and B. So, so the A value will have a minus one here. For our B value, plug in a three. And so now we can just go ahead and integrate this. On this first one, we're gonna to need to do the substitution, but we've had, but, but we already have that set up, right? Because the whole numerator we set up to be dt and this stuff right here is just t. And then on this one, we're just integrating one du. Integrate all this, we have minus ln absolute value of t plus three, and this is just gonna be a u. We need to back substitute on it, but let's get t all the way back to x. So t, we kind of have to plug back in here. So the u value is, this is just gonna be ln x. e to the ln x, that's just an x. And then e to the three, we can use this right here. This is an x cubed, so this is gonna be two x cubed. So we'll use this to back substitute. So putting it all together for my final solution, we have minus natural log absolute value ln x plus x plus 2x cubed plus 3 times our u value ln x add a plus c and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Good problem today from MIT 2023. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.